my name's Jennifer Bradley and I am so glad you caught me in my kitchen today because I have had so many people ask about how I got my son into the very best preschool that I thought I would share my secrets with you. So today we are going to be making Ginevra's perfect pesto. So we're going to get started by throwing a few pine nuts into the mortar and pestle here. This is a great technique so that we really get these pine nuts ground up finely. This, this is really taking a lot longer. You know what? I'm just going to use this blender right here, okay? We're just going to throw some basil into the blender. Those pine nuts also go in. We've got some Parmesan, a little bit of garlic. Believe me, garlic breath is not gonna matter after we are done with this pesto. Okay, we've got the final ingredient, some olive oil. And we are ready to mix this up. Here we go. There you have it. Just like that, we have got some delicious pesto. I've already made up some pasta. We're going to take this nice, fresh sauce and pour it right over. Look at that beautiful color. Ooh, now it's time for my favorite part. I have some unique herbs here. We've got ladies' mantle and guarana. These are totally safe by themselves, but mix them together and oh, cardiac arrest four hours after ingestion. What? Nobody said parenting was easy. All right, they're going to go right on top. We're just going to sprinkle that on. Now this Lady's mantle will be perfectly hidden within that green pesto. We're just going to crack open this guarana here. Now, to get the best mix, really, we want this to work, right, really well. We're going to have to use our hands to mix this together. So go ahead and dive in. Oh, my, look at this. This is looking so beautiful and, oh, wow. It smells like basil. They'll never know. Okay, there we go. That's it. Ginevra's perfect 